Boston Conservatory was founded in 1867 by German-born violinist Julius Eichberg. Eichberg saw Boston as the perfect place for his visionary school. The United States Civil War had ended just two years earlier, and Boston was flourishing both economically and culturally, thanks to an influx of immigrants and a location suited for trade. When he founded the conservatory, Eichberg took full advantage of the city's changing values and pursued ideas that at the time were considered radical, like training women and African Americans and elevating the arts in the city through high quality performances and community engagement programs. And so, the first era of Boston Conservatory was marked by boldness. In 1878, Eichberg recruited his most gifted female students to form the Eichberg Quartet, the first known all-female professional string quartet in the world. Less than 10 years later, the conservatory welcomed cornet prodigy P.G. Lowry, who was the first African-American to complete a training program at the school. After Eichberg's death in 1893, the conservatory experienced a period of uncertainty before Italian-born Agide Giacchia assumed leadership of the school in 1920. Having arrived in the United States just a few years prior to conduct the Boston Pops Orchestra, Giacchia saw great potential for the conservatory and wanted to revitalize the school by offering more than just instrumental training. So in 1920, he created the first grand opera department in the country spurring what would become a legacy of the conservatory. Opera greats like Lorraine Hunt Lieberson, Victoria Livengood, Sandra Peaks Eddy, and countless others hailed from this very program. Many great jazz artists also trained at Boston Conservatory, a little known fact in the school's history. Don Redman, Slam Stewart, Sam Rivers, Makanda K. McIntyre and Gigi Grice are just a few of the many alumni who went on to become successful jazz musicians. The conservatory continued its legacy of innovation in 1940, when it became the first conservatory to offer degrees in music education. And then again in 2007, when it became the first conservatory to offer private music lessons to community members on the autism spectrum. In 2015, the school launched a new graduate degree program in classical contemporary music, a rare offering for a performing arts conservatory. When Boston Conservatory made the historic decision to merge with Berkeley in 2016, it once again demonstrated its forward-thinking vision for the performing arts. As the school enters an exciting new chapter of its storied history and redefines what conservatory education can be, it continues to lead the way for performing arts training worldwide.